So I'm going to begin my net by tying a piece of twine between my two posts. Now today I am using just two pieces of old bamboo. Obviously the structure is very easy. You can use um, two trees, two sticks, whatever it is that you choose. But this is usually how I begin my netting. So we're going to go ahead and tie a piece together, which is going to be to be the start of our net. So now that we have our beginning piece of twine, we're going to start tying our vertical strips to this. And the way that you want to attach it is very simple. You're going to make a loop like so and you're going to bring the two pieces of the twine together. And then of course, you're gonna pull this tight. And this is gonna leave you, which I'll give you guys a close up of this, but this is gonna leave you two pieces of twine to work with. So you're gonna to wanna to do this same thing all the way across as big or wide as you want your net. So now that we have all of our vertical cordage hanging down and you can see that they're all separated into the two separate strands. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and start connecting them as a net. So you're going to take, which for me it is my um, right string, but for you guys it may be appear on the left because of the camera switch, but I'm going to take the very right string and this is going to be basically the end of our net on this side. So what we're gonna do is take the left hand piece and the right hand piece of the other strand and we're going to loop tie it. So what I mean by this is you're going to make a loop. Sorry, I'm using jute string and it's uh, sticking together. So you're gonna make a loop and you're going to pull through both strands. And this is gonna create um, your net basically. So now that we have our two strands here, we're going to take the left hand strand and we're going to tie it to our connecting um, end piece to our net using the same method, just looping both strands together. And of course you can size this net to whatever width and length that you want. It really just depends obviously what it is that you're trying to do. This is an excellent method for making fish nets, um, netted clothing, netting for um, carrying mushrooms, anything of the sort. So after you have your first initial little tie, you're going to take the next two over so you're going to leave this one alone for the moment and you're going to tie once again the left and the right of each strand together using your loop method. And you want to try of course to get it as even with the other one as you possibly can. But of course um, depending the situation if you're not making this for looks and just function um, it doesn't have to be pretty. So now that we have connected those two, we're just going to keep going all the way across to finish our top row. So now that our net is basically finished, I'm going to go ahead and tie the end piece that I want to use. So I'm doing the same thing that I did earlier with the uh, base string at the top and I'm tying this loosely once again so that I can take it off. So now I'm basically just going to tie my um, net back on the bottom piece and I'm going to use the same method <clears throat> leaving the uh, two strings but then I'm going to tie it in a knot. So once I end it, I'm basically just gonna end it with a knot.
So my little net is finished and I'm going to test it out on my Ola jar and see if it works.